Happy Wednesday. So this video is called How Do You Transcend the Mind? And before we talk about transcending the mind, the question is what is the mind? And I, I've read a lot of books by Eckhart Tolle, like The Power of Now and A New Earth. And he talks about how our true self is beyond the mind, but our whole lives we've been conditioned to identify with the thoughts in our head. And a lot of people think they're going crazy when they start to be able to distance themselves from their own thoughts. Because they're like, if I'm not my thoughts, then what am I? And I believe that we're basically the consciousness that's observing our own thoughts. And I like to think of all the little voices in my head as mental advisors. So each little mental advisor has a different job. Most of them are concerned with worrying about the future or worrying about the past. And so there's the worrying wor warrior. And then there's the guy who's always frustrated, frustrated Frederick. And then there's hurrying Harriet. She's always in a hurry. So it's all these voices in the head, in my own mind, and I like to imagine them as these voices are little characters on stage, on performing a play, and I'm the observer in the audience just watching them. Um, but very often I can begin to re-identify with these voices and then frustrated Frederick becomes the uh, the person that's the the energy that's really driving me and you could also envision it as the mental advisors instead of being on a stage performing a play they are passengers in a bus and this bus is the, each each of the mental advisors will hijack the driver's seat so instead of it being you as your your true self as this consciousness it becomes frustrated Frederick begins driving your bus and he's walking around constantly frustrated and yesterday for most of the day I was just being tormented by my own mental advisors and um, and so the name of this video is how do we transcend the mind how do we get into the consciousness beyond these just repeating voices and mental chatter and I feel like almost everything that people do in their lives as entertainment or as a hobby is a way to transcend this repetitive mental chatter that we have. And I feel that it's up to us to, to reprogram our minds to disidentify from all those mental advisors and thus take away their energy and then they'll stop talking so much. Um, it, and, it's, and it's kind of a scary journey because we've identified with these voices for so long. And uh, so one of the funny ways that I like to get out of my mental chatter and just into the present moment, which is really what all these ways of escape or entertainment are, they're a way to get you into the present moment and out of this repetitive mental chatter which keeps us in the future or keeps us in the past. So one of the silly ways that I like to transcend the mind is to beatbox in front of a mirror. So I'm going to do that as my way of transcending the mind. And I'm curious what your techniques are of ways you can transcend the mind. I mean, some people go rock climbing because when you're rock climbing, you have to be in the present moment and your life depends on it. So you can't be having all these mental chatter some people play video games because that puts them in the present moment and they can get out of their mental chatter and uh, some people eat lots of food because when you're enjoying food you're you're focusing on that instead of this mental chatter so there's many ways to transcend the mind um, I think meditation is one of the best ways to really work through and identify all these voices so that we can take energy out of them and, and really choose what thoughts we want to have. But anywho, I'm just going to beatbox in front of a mirror because I think that's pretty funny and it's fun. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Go 
Scooby doo ba doo ba doo. Scooby doo ba doo ba doo. Let me take a breath real quick. Cause I'll just talk for five minutes. Ah, oh, you can take a breath with me. If you don't think I'm crazy by now, I am officially crazy, but everything is completely arbitrary and everything is just a story. There's no such thing as insane. It's all just a different story. If you go to another country, they have a different story and some people call it insane, but it's just a different story. So this is my silly story of beatboxing in front of a mirror. <laughs> and laughing in front of a mirror. My last video in front of me, I just laugh for the whole time because it's so silly. <laughs> and the fact that this little camera thing is somehow recording this experience and then it's going to shoot out into the world continuously boggles my mind. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby doo be doo ba doo Scooby doo be doo ba doo Scooby doo be doo ba da doo Rebel, rebel, revolution, 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 rebel, rebel. Revolution, rebel, rebel, revolution, rebel, rebel, revolution, <laughs> rebel, rebel, revolution. How do you transcend your mind? I like to be silly and beatbox and come up with crazy mantras like that. And I encourage you to do the same because you have infinite potential and don't let anybody tell you otherwise peace and love my friend scoobly doo